In this project, we will simulate a Darius vertical axis water turbine using the dynamic mesh option. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, a new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length, view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeter. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Now if you expand the fluid under the material section, you can see we have added a water liquid material. To add a new material, all you have to do is to right click on fluid and then click on new. In the appeared window, you either can define a new material by defining its properties yourself or you can simply click on fluid database and select your desired material from the list of available materials in the fluid software. In the appeared window under the momentum tab, in front of the velocity magnitude, you can see we have entered the value of 1 meter per second. Also in this window, you can see we have enabled the right motion history option, which records the changes of position and angle of the blades in a file which you can give its address under the file name section. After that, under the Dynamic Mesh Zone section, we click on Create or Edit button so that we can apply the 60 UF settings over our rotating domain. In the appeared window, if you click on Blades, you can see the type of this mesh zone is defined as Rigid Body. Also, under the Motion Attributes tab, under the 60 UF or UDF properties, you can see we have selected the Blade 60 UF properties that we have applied in previous slides. Also, under the 60 UF section, we enable this option. And also you can see the values for center of gravity location, center of gravity velocity, rigid body orientation, and rigid body angular velocity, which all have a value of zero. On the low left side of the software window, in front of the method, we select x, y plane, and we set the value of c in such order that the plane is generated in the middle section of our geometry. Now in order to extract the 2D contour, we click on Contours button and accept the appeared window. Now in this slide you can easily see the velocity distribution over a plane which is placed in the middle section of our geometry and you can easily see the changes of velocity after it has passed over the blades causing them to rotate. You can also extract the velocity vectors over the blades by just clicking on vectors button. And now in this slide you can easily see the velocity vectors and how they behave in the vicinity of our blades. Finally. A summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.